Hello, I'm Jacques White, Executive Director of Long Live the Kings, or LLTK. Long Live the Kings is dedicated to recovering wild salmon and steelhead and supporting sustainable fisheries in the Pacific Northwest. King salmon, or Chinook, can grow to be 100 pounds in size, 80 inches long, and they used to fill our rivers every fall when they returned from the ocean. Native Americans revered this fish immensely. This was an important part of their culture. They had ceremonies when the first fish returned, and our native orca whales rely almost entirely on Chinook or King Salmon as their main food resource. It's an absolutely critical part of who we are in the Northwest and how we see ourselves. So in 1999, Long Live the King started working with government agencies and Indian tribes to recover steelhead in a river called the Hamahama in the Northwest. And the population was down to 18 fish. We worked for years to try to recover this fish without changing the genetic and the behavioral diversity. And we have now increased the population by over 500%. And there are sustainable wild spawning steelhead in that river today. We're trying to set up a program where we can understand what controls salmon production and survival in both freshwater and marine systems. As of right now, the ocean and the nearshore marine environment in the Northwest is a black box. We do not understand what happens to these fish when they leave the river mouth, go out into the ocean, and then come back. It's critically important that we understand that, and our organization is putting together coalitions of U.S. and Canadian scientists to understand what happens to these fish in the marine environment. In the Puget Sound area, where we do a lot of work in the Columbia River, there used to be vast runs of wild salmon. And Chinook salmon are the biggest of those and the prized by both commercial and sport fishermen. There used to be almost a million Chinook salmon returning every year to Puget Sound. Now, the numbers of wild fish returning to Puget Sound are one-tenth or less of that amount. So there is a very strong effort on the part of a number of different groups to try to recover them. We have the experience the scientific know-how and the partnerships to recover wild salmon and steelhead in the Pacific Northwest. What we need is your support. Will you help us to preserve these magnificent fish for the long run? Thank you.